Welcome to Life Journey. Glory Church. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. Theophilus Fernandez. Exodus 22, chapter verse 18. And read, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Glory to God. And also, James 4th chapter, verse 4. He adulterous and adulterous, knowing not the friendship of this world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is enemy of God. Exodus 22, 18 say, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Other versions say, Thou shalt not suffer a prisoner to live. But the King James Version say, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. That's one of the reasons why I don't read other translation or other version. Because the devil has converted those other versions. So ten reasons why we should not be a friend with a witch or witchcraft. Ten reasons why we should not be a friend with a witch or wizard or witchcraft. Ten reasons. Number one, God command don't care for spirit but rebuke them and terrorize them with my word. Like Paul in Acts the 16, 18, this and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Number two, God's commission is clear. Hey, glory to God. I am not your friend since you are worshiping evil forces in your home. Demons are evil and destructive to lives. Number three, God did not call me to be friend with the Satan kingdom, but to shine the light and save souls. Four, God clearly speak against witchcraft through the Bible. Witchcraft is of a manifestation of the flesh in Galatians 5.19. No good thing that dwell in the flesh the carnal mind is death fifth reason he go to God God caution the danger of witchcraft in the Old Testament and the New Testament Saul the first king lost his life for for, for going to the witch of endure the Bible say in first Corinthians or first Chronicle 10 13 so Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. So this is saying that if you go to a crystal ball reader, if you go to a psychic hotline, if you go to reading your horoscope, go to God, amen, or, t or, or tea lead reader, you are going against God's will. Because Saul died because he went to the witch of Endor to summon up Samuel. Sixth reason, God warning churches not to allow witches to have position in church and we are allowing them to serve God's people. Galatians chapter 3 verse 1 says, Oh foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you, they should not obey the truth. Before who eyes Jesus have been ever set forth crucified among you. Tenth, seventh reason, God say 90% of our churches are taken bribe by cash by the witch. No sermon on the witches and omens across the pulpit. Eighth reason, there are witchcraft convention that are silencing the churches that don't speak on the subject of witches are not are not evil. The Bible say yes, they are. They are the King James version, and other versions say now the King James version say they're evil. 
but other versions say that they're they are not they are not all evil they are good witches but the Bible say they are evil Satan convert the truth into a lie look at Eve she got deceived because the Satan say that you shall not surely die and she picked the fruit and she gave it to her husband and the Bible say the eyes are open and then sin has entered into this world you got duped by the girl you got duped by a guy say a little puff a little sex won't hurt you knife reason he glory to God the witches are causing manipulation and domination among the simple those who are ignorant of the devil the vices of witchcraft yes the witches are causing manipulation what's a manipulation it, it charming you it tells you that there's no such thing as a bad witch all witches are not bad yes they are they are evil they are devious and they are destructive i'm talking about witchcraft and being a witch there's no such thing as a good witch all witches are evil to the core because the bible speak against that in in revelation in 20th chapter verse 21 say the witches witchcraft sorcerer shall have their part in the lake of fire hey glory to god what's my subject again what's my subject my subject is 10 reasons why we should not be friend with a witch or witchcraft or a wizard we should not be hallelujah because god is manifested and the devil is under our feet they know such things a good witch all witches are evil to the core tenth reason it's time to cast out witchcraft among the evangelical evangelical and Pentecostal churches let me say it again it's time to cast out witchcraft among the evangelical and Pentecostal church this supernatural power is witchcraft and not of God but mystical and magical invention to bind us and bring what brainwash us from the truth of God let me say it again my friend because Satan trying to twist my tongue but the devil is a liar I rebuke every forces of darkness as I explain to people that don't be a friend of a witch don't be a friend of witchcraft and don't be a friend of a wizard because number 10 again it's time to cast out witchcraft among the evangelical and Pentecostal churches this supernatural power is witchcraft and not of God but mystical and magical invention to bind us and brainwash us from the truth of God evangelical church evangel co church and Pentecostal church and side with the witches and side with the voodoo doctor of bringing supernatural power that is not of God hallelujah glory to God you are a Christian we don't side with the witch we are Christian we don't side with voodoo doctors we are Christian we depend on the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit and you are siding with witchcraft you are not of God and it's time to pull the sheet and tell all spirits I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and if you are a Christian and you are listening to this this audio video I'm telling you don't side with the witch don't side with witchcraft don't side with voodoo or hoodoo because I tell you who belongs to you and that's Jesus Christ and that's the Holy Ghost every other power is of Satan every other power is manipulation any other power is domination and seduction because the devil is a liar if the devil can just deceive Eve that was in a garden saying that you shall not surely die imagine what he's telling you if you are not in the Word of God if you're not depending on the instruction from God our manual is the Bible 
let me say it again our manual our mirror and our road map is the bible don't go to God read no other book that tell you how to get more power the power is of the Holy Ghost the power is hallelujah do the most power he told disciples wait unto Jerusalem until you be endowed with power from on high don't depend on no other power every other power sound good in the beginning but it's gonna damn your soul to hell I'm telling you don't be a friend with the witch or with the wizard or with witchcraft because they are not your friend the bible said no the bible say the bible said ye are adulterer and adulteress know he not that the friendship of this world is enmity with god whoso therefore be a friend of the world is enemy of god look when jesus christ was talking glory to god the people glory to god that are prostitutes and he talked them to the kingdom of god and they got saved if you are a friend of a witch and a wizard they're trying to wean you away from the principle of god so i'm not your friend if you my friend come to god if you my friend let's start reading the bible if you my friend let's start praying if you my friend cast out the demon out of you so god can use you for the glory of god you not my friend if you my friend why you trying why you praying against me if you my friend why you you get offended when i talk about the word of god if you my friend why are you going contrary to everything the bible say thou shalt not do you not my friend you my enemy because the Bible say you are my enemy of God I'm speaking to, to at least a million people out there that you are a friend with the witch the witch has twist your mind of saying that she's a good witch there are such things as, a, as good witch good witch is only in Hollywood because they're actors and actresses there are such things as a good witch all witches are evil and they're on YouTube Yes, all witches are evil. And the devil lied to you about supernatural power. The devil has commissioned you with a demon. And the demon do everything that you want him to do with you. I'm telling you, witchcraft is evil. Witchcraft tell you Jesus Christ don't exist. Witchcraft tell you they know heaven and they know hell. So I'm telling you. On the sound of my voice, I bind every spirit of witchcraft. I bind every spirit of, of, of a cult. I bind every spirit of a spiritism. I bind every spirit of voodoo and hoodoo. I bind it right now. Because the devil is a liar. He's a father of lies. They know truth in the devil. He lied from the beginning. And he lied at the end. He's a spirit of counterfeit. He come to twist the scripture. He tell you a little bit won't hurt. Yes, it will. The Bible said a little leaven, leaven the whole lump. You keep on believing. The Bible said little foxes that spoil the vine. It start with a little. A little, little kissing make it turn to sex. A little wine make it become a drunk. A little peeping make it become, glory to God, you become a peeping Tom. A little a little club and make it be a, a person that go to club every Saturday and pretend you are saved a little a little cheating make you become unfaithful a little a little whispering make you stop believing every spirit is of God a little my friend don't be a friend of a witch or wizard or witchcraft if you do you will be manipulated you'll be dominated and you'll be seduced to believe a lie rather than the truth we live in the last days let me tell you this we are living in the last days anytime the truth glory to God been smothered the truth is a lie and a lie is a truth light become light become darkness and dark become light we living in the last days when witches are in the church shouting and people are saying there's a spirit of god no it's a spirit of witchcraft anytime somebody tell you to do something contrary to the word of god 
just pray and ask God forgiveness. No, the devil is a liar. How many times you gonna fail God? How many times, glory to God, you will keep on backsliding and keep on coming for backsliding? You need the Holy Spirit. You need a, the power of God in your life. How many times? Hallelujah. You are siding with witchcraft. You are siding with sorcery. And it's time to hear the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you have liberty. You're not, a, you're not liberated. You are a slave to sex. You are a slave to sin. Come on. Stop being a friend with the witch. Stop being a friend with a wizard. They're educated, but an educated fool because witchcraft is using their tools. It's time to wake up and realize who we are fighting. We are not fighting flesh and blood. We are fighting spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. Flesh and blood is not my enemy. It's the spirit. It's the spirit of witchcraft and a spirit, glory to God, of wizardry and omen and, and necromancy. All of those spirits are dominating in the churches. And it's time to take a stand against the witches of Endor. Yes, witches, my friend. It's time to threat on serpent and, and, and the power of the enemy. It's time to take a stand. Stand for God or stand for the devil. How long ought he between two opinions? If the Lord be God, serve him and stop serving yourself. Stop serving sex. Stop serving sickleism. Stop serving Satan. It's time to take a stand for God. We take a stand for everybody. We stand for Trump. Stand for the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look what happened in El Paso. Hallelujah. Demons, my friend, inhabit the body and take over this person and he start shooting. My friend, and we still ban guns. Ban guns. The weapon of warfare are not carnal, but a mighty do God pulling down a stronghold. Don't be friend with the witch. Don't be friend with the wizard. But be friend with God. The Bible says, you are my friend. If you do whatsoever, I command you. You're not a friend of God. You're a friend of the witch. You can't be serving two masters. You either serve God or you're serving Satan. You either serve God or you're serving Satan. Amen. Satan, glory to God, is the God of this world. Anytime you obey your flesh, you are serving Satan. Anytime you obey the Spirit of God, you're obeying the Savior of the world. How many times you gonna fall? How many times you gonna get up? The Bible said, under him that able to keep you from falling. I'm still on the same subject. Don't be a friend with witchcraft. Witchcraft compromise. Witchcraft compromise. My friend, it's time to know the truth. You don't know the truth if you're still falling in sin. Hallelujah. If you're still compromising your, tr your, your truth, don't compromise your truth for nobody. What sin is sin, what truth is truth. Don't comp Anytime you're compromising, you become a friend with the witch. And it's time to take the stand against all forces of evil. I'm not your friend. If you ain't on my side, which is the Lord's side, you not my friend. I can talk to you, but I'm not going to go place with you. I can talk to you, say hi, bye, and that's it. But I'm not going to compromise my truth. I'm not going to sit with lunch with you and talk to you about anything, but I want to talk about God. I can't. If I can't talk about God, you're not my friend. And it's time for us to stop compromising the truth of God. It's for God I live and God I die. Hey, glory to God. Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. It's time to stop being friend with the witch. Hey, glory to God. Be friend with God. Be friend with the word. Be friend with the truth. Be friend. Hey, glory to God with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's time to stand for truth. 
It's time to stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time. Stop being friend with evilness and be friend with righteousness.